Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's me, it's your friend, it's the Aqua Commentator, and welcome back to yet another episode of the redo of Shadow of the Colossus. Last time in Shadow of the Colossus redo, we took on number four, Phaedra. This time we're going to be taking on number five, our one and only actually, actually, our one and only actual bird colossus. I was about, bird based colossus? I don't, I don't even know. This is a, wait, where? Ag aggro? Aggro? Where did you go, girl? Jesus, I need you. I need to get places. I have places to go. I have places to be. Oh, hi. How you doing? I, I saw the horse. I found the horse. But yes, the one and only Colossus that's actually based around a bird in the entire game. There are 16 Colossi, and this is the only one that's actually a freaking bird. Granted, there are other Colossus that are... Wait. I think there are only actually two Colossi that actually fly in this game. I could be wrong, I'm not entirely sure, but where we gotta go is in this direction over here. But yes, this is a Colossus in particular that when I first saw the, the idol at the Shrine of Worship, I looked at it and I'm like, great, you're gonna be one annoying fight. And to those that saw my Astro Chain series, to those that actually remember my Astro Chain series, I hate aerial type enemies. Anything that's in the air, that's flying, and I can't hit it, and it keeps backing up or keeps flying higher, and it won't let me hit it, it is the most annoying thing ever. My god, I had so much trouble with aerial enemies and that uh, chain that it's not freaking funny. But honestly, this guy, I have to say, is what in my top three favorite Colossus. Both fight-wise, design-wise, because this guy is so freaking cool. Also, be careful not to fall, because if you fall, guess what? You die. I guess that's something I could try showcasing as a game over screen and what happens when you die. But I don't really die too often in this game unless it's on hard difficulty. I really should have played this game on hard difficulty, but you know what? It's too late now. Here is the domain of Colossus number five. Oh, and one more thing, if you enter certain... Oh, wait, no. I think I already mentioned that. Never mind. I was about to say, if you enter certain areas where the sun doesn't shine, then you are screwed. But yes, this area in particular right here. I told this story in the original... What the hell happened there? Uh, yes, I told the story in the original video that I did of the series, but when I first got here, I knew this was the area I had to be at. I just had no idea how to get to the area over there. Little did I know, you can actually swim to the Colossus, and there's actually an opening right underneath right there. Because for some reason, I did not know how to dive. Then again, the game never actually told me how to dive, so I kind of had to figure stuff out on my own. But yeah, go underneath this little thingy right here. And here we are. Well, we're not actually at the Colossus just yet. We gotta climb this stupid thing right here. But yes, when we get to the, to the actual Colossus... Oh my god, I'm looking forward to this one. Well, I'm both looking forward to it, and I'm both kind of regretting it. Because this Colossus could be a pain in the ass, depending on how it goes. Because, again, he is an aerial-based Colossus. You guys will see here in just a sec... Oh, wow. I told... I'm so used to... I'm so used to Pokemon Legends Arceus, the... What is it? The Y button. Yeah, I think the Y button is how to dodge or do this in Pokemon Legends Arceus. And since I'm on a PlayStation controller, you gotta play, press the circle button to do a freaking dodge roll. I am so spoiled on Arceus right now. This here is Avion, and believe it or not, Avion is actually not aggressive at all. You can walk up to or swim up, up you can swim up close to him as much as you can, and he will not do anything. He'll simply just look down at you like, you know, what the hell are you doing, buddy? You're kind of weird, but you know what? You're not doing anything, so I'm, not, I'm just going to mind my business, and you're going to... I'm going to do my thing, you're going to do your thing, pretty much. However, if you try provoking a fight with him, then he gets hostile. Otherwise... Avion is actually one of the few Colossus in the game that actually will not go out of their way to attack Wander on their own, unless provoked. So what you gotta do is make your way all the way to this pedal store right here. It doesn't matter which one you get on. I personally like to get on the middle one right here because it's honestly a little easier to actually get on to Avion. Because what you have to do is, once you get on top of this, you gotta pull out your... Wander. Pull out your bow, and then fire. 
Once provoked, he will charge at you. Um, did my arrow... My arrow literally flew over his head, didn't it? My arrow flew over his freaking head. There we go. Now my arrow hit him. Now he's going to charge at us. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump at the right moment. Like now. Hold on to that R2 button for dear life. And the soundtrack playing right now, I don't remember the name, but this is one of my favorite soundtracks in the entire game. It's definitely a fitting soundtrack for fighting Avion right here. Look at this. We are flying around the battlefield right here on top of Avion. This is so freaking epic. He won't barrel roll, but he will fly on his side every now and then. So be sure you're holding on for dear freaking life. Make sure you have stamina. Flapping his wings is not helping. Hold on, Wander. He's got three major sigils on all difficulties. They're all the same. One on each wing, and then he has one on his tail. Okay, he does barrel roll after you stab him, I should say, but he won't actually barrel roll while you're on top of him unless you stab him. Is that sigil already down? Did I already... No way. Uh-oh, uh oh uh oh I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. Crap, crap, this ain't good, this ain't good, this ain't good. My stamina! No! <gasps> Oh my sweet baby Jesus, I, I, did that really just happen? That is insane! Because if you fall, my god, you are, well you're not screwed, but if you fall, it just takes a while to get back on, because you're going to have to repeat the same thing that you did just to get on him the first time. Man, this is so freaking epic, I love this fight so much. It, oh! Stop flapping your wings! Accept your fate like a friggin' man or woman. Okay, are you done flapping? Thank you. That sounds really weird. Stabby, stabby. I've also had times when I'm fighting this guy and I'm holding on to this R2 button with all my might. I could feel my finger like on the R2 button. And for some reason, Wander will still fall. God damn it. I sound like that one guy from Deltarune right now, but I knew that was going to happen. Uh, and it's going to make for a longer video, but it's fine. Now you guys get to see what happens when you fall. So if you fall, he, I don't believe he'll go back to his little pedestal that he was on. I believe he's going to keep flying around the arena until you fire another arrow at him. Maybe if you wait long enough, he will actually land on his pedestal again. But I've never seen him actually land back on it. Now, I think there's a thing over here. If you're not sure where he is, remember you can always use the L2 button. And the L2 button will move the camera in the direction of where the Colossus is. Okay, that's not actually the greatest spot to be in. I want to get over here. He's only got... One more major sigil, I believe. I think we got his wings. I hope we got his wings done. I really do. His tail is the only major sigil left. Oh, wow. Whoa! He is right there. Hi, how you doing? Did I get him? I don't think I did. Oh, wait. Is he landing? No, he's not landing. Avion, come here, dude. You not, uh, you not. You must accept your fate. You will die. I must revive the love of my life. I mean, I don't know if she's the love of my life, but if I'm risking my life by fighting these things just to revive her, did I get him? Did I get him? Did I? Did I? Smackaroni? Hey, I got him. Okay, cool. Hey, put that away. Pull out your sword. Where did he go, Avion? Oh, is he going to charge at me? Hey, you need to charge at me. Come here. I wish this was Splat Splatoon so I could start squid bagging while we wait, but it's not Splatoon. You guys want to know something? I play Splatoon so much and I squid bag a lot. Not on purpose, but I tend to, you know, kind of have fun here and there when I'm bored. And I tr I've tried squid bagging in different video games so many times. Come to find out, oh yeah, squid bagging doesn't work in this because it's not Splatoon. So I think his wings are done. Now here's the thing, if you save the tail for last, it's actually 
really good to save the tail for last because his tail is the one spot that he actually can't shake you off of. No, he won't even barrel roll or anything. You can just stab away at his tail. And he can't do a goddamn thing about it. He's just... He just has to accept it. And that about does it. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope to see you guys back here in the next one. Hope each and every single watch, uh, every single one of you watch this video has a fantastic day. And stay fresh, everybody.